The pandemic has now affected over 40 million people across the world, and the cases are still on the rise. There seems to be no end to this spread, and all the people in this world, are looking for that one thing, that could help prevent this spread, and that thing is, a vaccine. So, what is this vaccine? Why is it taking so long for it to be available? How can it help fight the pandemic? When will a vaccine be available for public use? Let us discuss all these topics in today's video. Let us first start by discussing what a vaccine is. A vaccine contains germs that cause the disease. For example, a measles vaccine will have measles virus. So how does this help? This virus in a vaccine is usually a dead virus or a weakened one. This when given to a person helps the person's immune system to produce necessary antibodies. These antibodies fight against the virus and makes the person immune to the disease without him getting it. So when the person actually gets the real disease, the antibodies destroy them. Unlike other medicines which treats or cures the diseases, a vaccine prevents them. Let us now discuss the different types of vaccines. Number 1. Live attenuated vaccines. These vaccines use a weakened form of the germ that caused the disease. The main advantage of this type of vaccine is that it creates a strong and long-lasting immunity. As the virus introduced in this vaccine is very similar to the natural infection. The drawbacks for this type of vaccine is that people with weak immune systems should be careful and consult their healthcare providers before using it. Examples of this type of vaccine include smallpox, chickenpox and measles. Number 2. Inactivated vaccines. These vaccines use the killed or dead version of the germ that caused the disease. The immunity provided in this case is not as strong as attenuated vaccines and hence multiple doses may be needed in order to get necessary immunity. Examples of this type of vaccine includes hepatitis A, flu and polio. Other than these two major types of vaccines, there are also other types of vaccines which uses part of the germ in the vaccine. These vaccines are referred to as subunit or conjugate vaccines and we have toxoid vaccines as well. Studies show that it can take up to 10 years for a vaccine to be ready and available for public use. The fastest vaccine that had been created till now is that for a mumps vaccine, which also took four years to get completed. HIV vaccine on the other hand, is still not ready and is believed that it will be ready by 2030, making it 50 years for the vaccine to be available. To understand why it takes long to create a vaccine, one needs to understand the stages involved in a vaccine development and testing. The first stage is the research stage, which is used to find out the natural antigens that can induce immune reaction to the body. This usually takes two to five years. In this phase, it is also decided on what type of vaccine to be made. Is it better to go with a live attenuated vaccine or an activated vaccine and so on? Research is done to figure out these details and come up with a vaccine. The next stage is the preclinical trials, where initial testing is done on animals such as mice or monkeys, to see if it develops an immune response and to evaluate its safety. Next is the clinical trials, which has different phases. Phase 1, in this phase, the vaccine is tested on humans in a limited number, to evaluate its safety and dosage amount. This usually takes around 1 to 2 years. Phase 2, in this stage, the vaccine is tested on hundreds of people for few months, to see if it generates the immune response as desired. This takes around 2 to 3 years. Phase 3, in this stage, it is administered to thousands of people and takes many years. This stage is helpful to evaluate whether the vaccines produces the desired result for a long term, whether the person develops any side effects, and so on. Once phase 3 trial is successful, the approval and manufacturing stage comes, where the vaccine manufacturers submit an application to a regulatory body, such as the European Commission, or the US Food and Drug Administration FDA. All the trials are reviewed, to make sure the vaccine is safe and effective. Even after the vaccine is approved and licensed, regulatory agencies stay involved, 
continuing to monitor production. They inspect the manufacturing units and test vaccines for its potency, safety and purity. As you can see, coming up with a vaccine takes long due to all these stages that are involved and the time that each of these stages can take. As we just saw, a vaccine would normally take years, if not decades, to develop. Researchers are trying hard to achieve the same amount of work in only a few months. Most experts think a vaccine is likely to become widely available by mid-2021, about 12 to 18 months after this virus first emerged. Scientists are also optimistic that, if trials are successful, then a small number of people, such as healthcare workers, may be vaccinated before the end of this year. There are no guarantees to this, but if this is achieved on this date, it would be a huge scientific feat. As per the data collected on 23rd of October 2020, here is where we currently stand. We have 33 vaccines being tested in Phase 1, 15 vaccines in Phase 2, 11 vaccines in Phase 3 and 6 have got limited approvals. No vaccine has been approved for full use as of now. Of the six vaccines which have got limited approval, four are from China, and two are from Russia. China has approved vaccines created by CanSino Bio, Wuhan Institute of Biological Products, Sinopharm, and Sinovac Biotech. Russia has approved vaccines created by the Vector Institute and the Gamalaya Research Institute for early use. Both China and Russia have approved vaccines without waiting for the results of Phase 3 trials. And experts say this rushed process has serious risks. Here is a chart depicting the leading candidates that are working towards creating a vaccine. Despite the fact creating vaccines takes a very long time, scientists are racing to produce a safe and effective coronavirus vaccine targeting mid-2020. The first vaccine safety trials in humans was started in March and now many have reached the final stages of testing. Not all these trials may be successful, some may fail, some results may not be satisfactory. But at the end, we are sure that some of them will definitely succeed, and a vaccine that produces good results will be available very soon. Hope this video was useful, and provided you with some information on vaccines, and where we currently stand. Please do support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel so that we can try and bring out more informational videos every week. Goodbye and thank you so much for watching.